Okay. Try this one more time. Good evening. We call our Thursday, July 10th, 2014, 7 p.m. Special board meeting of the School District of East China to order. We will start with a moment of silence and Pledge of Allegiance, please. <coughs> Item number two on our agenda is recognition of persons wishing to address the board. I would just like to extend an open invitation to uh, the board. I, Dr. Skulk is not going to be in town. But on Thursday, the 17th, we're hosting the 2014 Special Needs uh, Transportation Expo. Um, and it's going to be really cool. So I, w I really hope that you guys would be able to make it out. I do have a printout of some of the materials if anyone would like to see them tonight. And you, can, you may take this with you and I can get you additional copies. Okay. Thank you. Thank I saw you. that on the website. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be out of town that day. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What's the time? Is that all day? Is that eight in the morning? I think you said yeah. it started. The, the actual expectation working with the, the fire departments and, and Tangle County SWAT team that will start at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't remember. And that's going to be at the Marine, Marine City, City Middle School. Marine City Middle School, and we're going to be doing that in the back parking lot, the student parking lot. Um, we needed room for the helicopter to be able to come down and land. How cool. <laughs> <laughs> so um, totally the that will start at 9 o'clock, go till about 9, 9.30. Um, we're doing a little bit of uh, the SWAT team is actually, the scenario is that the bus was hijacked. And the SWAT team is going to have to come in and negotiate them, the student or the hijacker off the bus. And then it, it's, it's going to be really cool. So it's, it's going to be something Kind of really fun to see. So, Does somebody and it provides valuable that? training. Pardon me. Does somebody videotape that or? Well, I'm hoping. Okay. Um, we do. Uh, this is all on volunteer. So if anybody sure. wants to volunteer to come and videotape, I have a bunch of cameras available. And okay. So we'll. I, I try to designate out because right. I, you know, it's all again. I all volunteer. So who's ever there and can do it. Okay. I know, I know that uh, Director of Operations Kirk Griselka plan has been working yes. very closely with Ms. Pettigan, Mrs. Metapedian, and it plans to be there the whole day. Um, and we've asked uh, Mr. Headley to also go and take some pictures. We wanted some stills. If we can also get some video, that'd yeah. be great. Um, I can maybe contact Scott Whiting. He does a lot of videography for the district. Okay. Yeah, that would be cool. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> Information discussion items is a preliminary qualifying application. It's the single item agenda that we're here for tonight. Um, I'll let Ms. Weglars briefly speak to it. Good evening, board. Um, what you have in, um, is a copy of the pre-qualification application, and that is for the proposed bus bond. And what this application um, is doing, it is requesting from the state to utilize their, their rating, allowing us to obtain a lower interest rate that would lessen the burden to the community. Um, there are several items that we had to complete in the application. Um, it went through defining the project. Um, it required pupil enrollment, um, current status, and then out to five years. Um, it looked at the, 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 the utilization for each school. Um, it wanted a summary of all our facilities. Um, and on Tuesday, we had uh, compiled all the information, and we had a conference call with the uh, Michigan State Treasury to review that. They did have some, some 
changes that they wanted us to make and we have um, updated them in that application um, and now that is what is left it's requiring the board approval um, and some signatures so that we can overnight it to the state and they will make their final determination mm -hmm. based off of the information on in the application <laughs> what is what is the, the difference between our what credit will cost us and what it costs the state I don't have that exact answer and I apologize for that mm -hmm. um, I know that our current rating right now with standard and pores is at a um, double a minus um, the state rating is higher than that um, the last time the school district obtained a rating was two year ago, two years ago but we have incurred two decreases in our fund balance so mm -hmm it would most likely be reduced from that. So it was in our best interest to try to obtain the current state rating, um, which would allow us to, um, to, to get the best rating, which I, is just under 4%. Thank you. Mm -hmm. the, uh, refresh now, this is five buses per year for five years. And how long is this, is this a 10 year? payoff or this is a 7.3 or they round this off into a eight-year bond eight year bond. the final payment would be 2021 that would be con concurrent to our existing bonds that are outstanding today okay so it's an eight year just making sure we, we talked about a 10-year um, tax cycle though that is so. correct, um, Dr. Skalka. So. Um, how, the, how the taxes are actually um, levied is that we need to start um, the tax cycle a little bit in advance because we have to build up a little bit of pooled cash. So the first tax, le tax levy would, um, would collect a very minor amount so that we can make the first payment, which is normally an interest payment, um, until it ramps up to the full bond payments in the following year. So um, from the beginning to the end, it turns out to be a 10-year tax cycle. However, um, the first year, the tax levy is at a much lower rate than um, at the full tax levy. Do we know what the interest rates or just pretend that particular day when it falls? Are they saying like a 4% rate, rate or is it hard to? I think he's asking, is it variable or is there a set rate? It is a variable rate, um, but right now it's only at a projected rate, um, which is, I, I believe it is 3.9% if my memory is. Um, it, that's what it says mm -hmm. here on the proposed bond issue. Correct. And until the, until the bond is actually sold, that rate is, is projected until that date, and depending on what the rate is on that day. Based, I just passed out to you some information, uh, very general information, but based on what we were given uh, in our conversations with um, our bond attorney, our bond broker, and and the department and the F Department of Treasury, um, you can see that the initial uh, is 0 0.05 mills, or the equivalent of five cents on every one thousand dollars of proper taxable property value. <coughs> so in, in essence. Um, the, the tax impact is two dollars and fifty cents on a hundred thousand dollar home in the first year that tax impact um, grows to a maximum of 1950 before falling down but because this is part of our total debt and because the other bonds that the district holds has a similar cycle in which it ramps up and then comes down you can see that the total tax impact on the side um, increases by 250 that first year and then stays constant and never goes above that in terms of a total tax impact this is information that um, in, a, in a larger uh, meeting that I want to make sure that we present to the community right. and, and visuals and all but for tonight's purposes I mm -hmm. just wanted to make sure that you saw that okay. the application we have in front of us is the new um, Revised after the phone call from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. It is. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Thank you. 
Next me item on the agenda is the action item. <coughs> per administration recommendation, the Board of Education approves the application for preliminary qualifying of bonds as presented and reviewed. Motion needed. So move. Moved by Mr. Folsky. Support. Support by Mr. Kennickbauer. <coughs> Comments, questions? What, uh, what's the next step after this? Um, after this, again, we, we overnight it uh, to Treasury tomorrow, um, at which point, once they uh, give final approval to this, we will have another special meeting in August, at which time you will approve the actual ballot language. Okay. Um, and we have to have a special meeting in August because of timelines again, just like this timeline. Correct. Um, that was on that uh, timeline schedule right. I gave you. Okay. You'll approve the ballot language. And from there, uh, we're a go to November. Um, it, uh, along with the ballot language, um, it will be important that the board actually calls the election, mm -hmm. your vote to, to for the election to occur. Um, following the meeting, I'll take that information up to the county clerk, and that will give them the final approval to put it on the ballot. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. <coughs> and do we know who the who the team will be that's working on the ballot language? Um, that was uh, Chris I Marino who is uh, an attorney at Troom. You know, he's already given us draft ballot language that was shared with the Department of Treasury because they have to okay it as well. I believe that is on page three of your packet. I did provide um, the proposed ballot language. Yes. And that was drafted by the, the legal counsel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the information only? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. This, this right here. Right. Yeah. Okay, I read that. <coughs> all right, any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved and carried. We stand adjourned. Thank you. <coughs>